The Future Diary is an anime. It's a science fiction fantasy. Uh, it's basically about a young 14-year-old boy named Yukitero Amano. He uh, lives uh, in a city in Japan, and he, uh, he doesn't put himself out there socially. He always uh, uses his little uh, flip cell phone to write diary entries of what's happening around him. He doesn't put himself out there to make friends or a girlfriend, and his mother's never home. She works for a video game company or something, and he mostly lives alone with his invisible friends. There's a Deuce Ex Machina. He's like a giant being that sits in a chair and has to fix causality and time loops. And there's also Murmur, a little mini person who also is like a sidekick of sorts. Until one day uh, he's talking to them and they tell him they're going to t give him the ability to see the future. So he wakes up and he opens up his cell phone and he realizes that the entries in his uh, cell phone are going to happen later that day. So the first thing that happens is uh, he is able to ace a math quiz already knowing the answers. And then he starts using it to upgrade his life. So uh, he avoids bullies that want to beat him up after school. He's having a great time. His confidence is uh, starting to go up and uh, people in school are starting to notice his new uh, behavior until uh, someone tries to kill him. Uh, and he finds out that someone's stalking him and is about to kill him in an elevator. But it turns out a girl in his class uh, is also someone who can see the future with her cell phone saves him. So after uh, the events of this first episode, they throw you right into it. Uh, basically, the plot is like Battle Royale or Hunger Games, but it takes place with 12 people with 12 different devices, and they have to kill each other. And the remaining person becomes the new lord of time and space. So the series is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It com it, uh, it's a mixture of uh, science fiction, fantasy. There's a lot of, a lot of um, actually, a lot of violence in this. There's a lot of blood and uh, nudity but uh, it's not like overly excessive. It's just kind of shocking how many different genres is able to blend together. There's action, there's humor, there's romance, there's uh, teen uh, coming of age. Uh, essentially the series is really briskly paced. So it throws you into the action in the first episode and then it sort of becomes a villain of the week sort of affair where every other episode they'll introduce a new threat in the form of a wacky timekeeper and each of these people that have the uh, diary keepers, they have their own powers. So the main character, Amano, he, uh, his is called the indiscriminate diary. It allows him to gather information of anything around him, no matter what. And of course, the girl in his class, she's actually in love with him. So she has a love diary. She can find out anything that's happening to him in 10 minute intervals. So every time they face a new enemy, they're gonna have a new power. And they basically spend the first half of the series taking on different threats as they come, as well as developing characters. Uh, we find out that uh, his love interest, Yuno Gasai, she's actually been stalking him for about a year before the events of the series, and uh, she's actually really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, and he doesn't know why. So over the course of the series, things get a little bit more wacky, more violent, uh, a lot of fun, interesting villain characters uh, in the form of the opponents of the other diary keepers. They're very flamboyant. Uh, the movie's not very realistic, I mean, in terms of... Uh, in terms of his own rules, uh, like for example, the police are going to show up at every moment, but there's going to be bombs going off and people shooting at each other. It's really interesting. It's something I've never seen before. Uh, the series does get a little bit weird at the end. In the final four to six episodes, they introduce a new twist that's pretty out there. And then, of course, it comes with a very unsatisfying ending. But there's also an original video animation, uh, 27th episode, that uh, was released later that sort of ties things together. So overall, The Future Diary is a really interesting anime. It's definitely not for children. It's got really good animation, music, uh, voice acting, uh, character development, uh, action sequences, a, a unique tone, something that I've never seen before. Uh, so I'm not saying it's amazing and you have to watch it. I'm saying that it, it's pretty good. If you're looking for something really different, similar to kind of Death Note, but not really, I definitely check out The Future Diary.